everyone, welcome back to our Into the New Year Yoga Challenge. I'm really excited for this one because it is one of my most favorite ways to move on the mat, mandala flow. So we'll be moving forward and back, right and left, all around the mat, 360 essentially. And it is a playful, playful practice. And the sequence today will remain the same, so there's only going to be one flow. So even when you face away from your laptop, you know what's coming. But of course, we'll be building along the way onto a couple of asanas. So grab your mat and I'll see you shortly. We'll start today in a seated position, but uh, I invite you to bring the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to gently open up to the sides. And you can sit up nice and straight, relax your arms by your sides, maybe relaxing your hands on top of your knees or on top of your shins. Close your eyes. And now just pay attention to the posture from the base of your spine. Try and lengthen. Feeling here the lower back, the middle spine, the upper back. Softening the shoulders, softening the face. And already just bringing your awareness into your lower body, into the inner thighs and the groin. Noticing a gentle stretch across your hips. And when you next take that inhale, reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, rotate and twist towards your right. So bring your left hand on top of your right knee, lengthen here. Exhale to twist, looking over the right shoulder. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more in. Exhale. Reach the arms up to the sky, inhale. And we twist and rotate over to the left. Breathe in and lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhale. Exhale. And one more breath. Breathing out. Reaching the arms up towards the sky, inhale. Release your hands on top of your ankles and maybe just wiggle your hips a bit closer in. We'll try now and lift the hips off the floor, coming into our chair-like position. So if this is too much for your hips, you might just want to separate your feet and do it, you know, as you do normally. But if you want to try this transition from your Baddha Konasana and then come into chair pose, you can. And then from here we sink nice and deep into that chair. Take a breath out, one more inhale, and now release your hands to the floor, exhale. Let's bend the right knee as your left leg extends and just alternate across the legs. Noticing the hamstrings, the backs of your legs. Make sure your head is relaxed. Great, taking one more inhalation, exhale, well done. From here, let's bring the hands to the floor, stepping back into your plank pose. Take that breath here and push back, downward facing dog, exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. One more inhalation and exhale. Bring your feet to touch. Take your right leg back. Inhale. Bend your knee. Open up through the hip. Exhale. Re-extend your leg. Inhale. Draw your knee towards the nose and guide your foot through and in between your hands. Exhale. Right arm reaches up. Inhale. 
Coming on to the outer edges of your feet, we find our Shiva twist. Exhale. So with your hips, go as low as you want to, as you can, but you should feel the stretch across the outer glute on your right side and across the IT band on your left. So let's take one more breath and exhale. Lovely, right arm up, hips up. Release the hand down, exhale. Reach your arms up into your high lunge. Interlock the hands, exhale. And now try and draw your arms back so you open up through the front part of the body. Inhale. Exhale, great, release your hands to the heart, find your side squat, your skandasana into the right knee. If the right heel stays lifted, totally fine. You can just simply balance onto the toes. Breathe out, let's take one more breath. Breathe out. Now with your hands, use them to help you and transfer to the back side of your mat. Drop the right knee to the floor. Arms to the sky, inhale. Open up through the chest, exhale. One more breath. And release the hands to the mat, exhale. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee and brush your left leg back. Three-legged dog, inhale and release your foot down, exhale. So that is our flow, it won't change. We'll just be adding on a couple of things as we move along. One more breath. Exhale, very well, let's continue. We'll come back through the right side, so feet to touch, right leg goes back, inhale. Bend your knee, open up through the hip, exhale. Re-extend your leg, inhale. Draw your knee towards the nose and guide your foot through, exhale. Reach the right arm to the sky, inhale. And find your Shiva twist, dip your hips towards the floor, exhale. Few breaths here for you to find that outer hip stretch. One more in, and breathe out. From here, lift your hips, take the right arm up. Exhale, release the hand towards the floor, and from here, prepare. Now, inhale to raise yourself up into your high lunge. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. One more breath. Exhale, great, hands come into the heart, find your skandhasana, bend the right knee, go as low as you want, and don't worry if your right heel does not reach fully to the ground, you can simply balance onto the tips of your toes, breathe out, one more inhale, exhale, with your hands, crawl to the top of your mat here, Drop the right knee to the floor and take your arms up. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhalation. And release your hands down. Exhale. Tuck the back toes. Lift the knee. Brush your left leg back. Three-legged dog. Inhale. And release the foot down. Exhale. Now ripple forward into your high plank. Bend your elbows, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, exhale. Deep inhalation. Breathe out. Let's soften our knees to the floor. Finding tabletop position so we come to all fours. And from here, with your next inhalation, drop the belly, look up, open through the chest. Exhale, push the floor away and round into your cat pose. Inhale, open up through the chest. Exhale to round. Breathe in and open. Exhale to round. One more in and out. From here, keeping that rounded back, 
Keep your toes tucked and lift your knees off the floor. Hover here. Five, four, three, two, one. And downward facing dog. Exhale. Well done. Take a breath in and a breath out. And we'll repeat the same thing on our left side. So bring the feet to touch. Take your left leg back, inhale. Bend your knee, open the hip, exhale. Re-extend your leg, inhale. And draw your knee to the nose and step your foot through, exhale. Take your left arm to the sky, breathe in. Coming on to the outer edges of your feet, find your Shiva twist, drop those hips down as low as you like here. Find your outer hip here. Breathe out. Two. Breathe out. Last inhale. Exhale. Inhale, take your hips up, arm up. Release the hand down, exhale. Now engage through the belly, rise into your high lunge. Interlock the fingers, index fingers point up, draw your chest through, open up through the chest. Breathe out. Two. Last one. Exhale, release the hands to the heart and find your skandhasana into the left leg. Inhale. Exhale. So sinking here as low as you like. Breathe in. Breathe out. And last one in. Breathe out. Again, use hands or transfer to face the back of your mat. Drop the back knee down. Arms reach up. Anjaniyasana. Inhale. Exhale to open. In. Last breath. And release your hands down. Exhale. Tuck the back toes. Lift the knee. Brush the right leg back. Inhale. And downward facing dog. Exhale. Reset with your breath. Breathe out. One more breath. Exhale. Very well. Let's return through the left again. So feet to touch, left leg goes back. Inhale. Bend your knee, open the hip. Exhale. Re-extend your leg. Inhale. Knee to the nose and we guide our foot through. Exhale. Left arm goes up. Inhale. And we come on to the outer edges of our feet. Drop the hips towards the mat, exhale. Few more breaths. So hopefully now you know the flow. So you're moving into this movement meditation, right? One more breath. Exhale. Let's send the hips up, arm up. Release the hands down, exhale. From here, engage the belly. Reach up. Breathe out. Inhale, exhale, hands to the heart. Now skandhasana, that side lunge into your left leg. Breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Well done. Now use your hands to push away or without your hands, face the front of the mat, drop the back knee down. Anjaniyasana, open the chest, inhale. Exhale, one more breath, and we release the hands down, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee, brush the right leg back, three-legged dog, inhale, and release the foot to the floor, exhale. Now ripple your spine forward into your high plank, and bend your elbows, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, breathing in. Downward facing dog, exhale. Very well, reset. Let's bring the knees onto the floor. 
Walking the arms forward, we find our Anahatasana puppy. So here we want to melt the chest and the armpits down, the forehead reaching towards the floor. You can rest the head down, find the support, and focus now on opening up, opening up across the upper body. Great. Very good. Soothing breath. Last inhale. And breathe out. From here, we're slowly going to come back onto all fours. Tucking the toes under. Lifting the knees, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And breathe out. Moving into our second cycle. So a few additions here. So bring the feet to touch. Take your right leg up. Inhale. Bend your knee. Open up through your hip. Exhale. Take the right leg back up. Re-extend. And draw the knee to the nose, and now we hold for five. Push the floor away. Four, three, two, and one. Look forward and step your foot through. Exhale. Right arm reaches to the sky. Breathe in. Coming on to the outer edges of your feet. Again, getting into that outer hip here. Few more breaths. Take your time. Inhale. Exhale. Right arm reach back up. Inhale. Release the hand down. Exhale. From here, both arms come up. Inhale. Interlock the hands. Point your index fingers up. Open up through the chest. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, release the hands to the heart, exhale. Now from here, moving into that skandhasana, drop your hips as low as you can. And of course you have an option to stay here, even with your heel lifted, or your heel is down and you open your arms wide to the side. Option to stay here or option to go into a further bind. So choose if this is a good option. Few more breaths. Great, so one more inhalation. Exhale, well done, release your hands. Now wiggle yourself all the way to the back of your mat. Drop the back knee to the floor. Arms this time going to go behind you. We interlock the fingers here. We want to open up through the chest, so sliding those hands along the back thigh. Breathe out. Two more. Breathe out. Last inhalation. And breathe out. Release your hands to the floor. Brush your left leg back. Three-legged dog with control, inhale, and release your foot down, exhale. Ripple forward into plank pose, and chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, breathing in. Downward facing dog, we breathe out. Great, resetting here for a moment. One more breath. Breathe out, feet to touch, continuing with the right, right leg back, inhale, bend your knee, open the hip, exhale, re-extend your leg, inhale, draw your knee to the nose and this time just guide your foot through and in between your hands, exhale, right arm up, inhale, coming on to the outer edges of our feet, drop those hips down, exhale. One more breath in and out. Arm up, hips up, inhale, release the fingers down, exhale, prepare, lift up, open up through the chest, 
breathe out one more inhale hands to the heart exhale from here skandasana right knee bends again go as low as you want to now option to drop your hips fully down as you sit onto the floor your right knee is up and you can grab hold of your right ankle in your left hand and you take your right arm up inhale and maybe slowly leaning towards that extended leg maybe grabbing the foot maybe you're a bit further up than that which is totally fine few more breaths now just focusing on creating space across the side body so we have this beautiful side body bend last deep breath exhale well done from here coming back up lifting the hips off the ground help yourself in any other way from here we want to push the floor away coming in into the middle heels in toes out and we reach up goddess sink your hips deep two more breaths breathe out last inhale release the hands down exhale now just wiggle yourself all the way to the top right knee to the floor and reach those arms back up inhale sink the hips low exhale one more breath release the hands to the mat exhale send your left leg back three-legged dog inhale and foot to the floor down dog exhale ripple into your plank pose and chaturanga exhale upper dog and downward dog breathe out very good so we have one more side waiting for us deep inhalation and out feet to touch let's flow left leg goes back inhale bend your knee open the hip exhale re-extend that leg inhale and draw your knee to the nose let's hold five push the floor away four three two one look forward and guide your foot through and in between your hands as you exhale left arm goes up inhale coming on to the outer edges of your feet dip your hips towards the mat two more breaths breathe in breathing out left arm up inhale release the fingertips down exhale we rise high lunge inhale interlace your hands and shift your arms back one more breath and hands to the heart exhale now we find skandasana left knee bends now again choose where you want to go if you want to open your arms if you want to look for your bind and in that desirable position when we find it we stay here for a couple of breaths great one more inhalation in your own time exhale very nice from here use your hands or transition all the way to the back of your mat drop the back knee down arms gonna go behind your back this time interlock the fingers open up through the chest inhale exhale two more breathe out last breath in and out well done release the hands down tuck the back toes lift the knee brush the right leg back inhale downward dog exhale let's ripple into our plank pose breathe in chaturanga 
exhale, upper dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, deep inhalation, and out, one more side, so feet to touch, left leg goes back, inhale, bend your knee, open the hip, exhale, re-extend your leg, inhale, and draw your knee towards the nose and guide your foot through and in between your hands, exhale, left arm to the sky, inhale, coming on to the outer edges of your feet, we dip the hips towards the floor, just one more breath, and breathe out, reach up, inhale, hand to the floor, exhale, let's rise, high lunge, inhale, and hands to the heart, exhale, Skandasana into your left leg. So again, going wherever you need to go, as far as you need to go. If you can come with me, drop those hips down. From here, grab hold of your left ankle and maybe you take your left arm up, reaching towards that extended leg. Your choice, where you go, how far you go, but try and listen to your body. Last deep breath. And out. Very good. Rising up. We lift our hips off the ground. From here, push the floor away. And one more time, we find goddess pose. So this time, bring your hands on top of your knees. Push your knees away. And just stay here for a few breaths. Breathe out, maybe going deeper, two more. Breathe out, last inhale, exhale, hands to the floor. Let's move to face the front of the mat, drop the back knee to the mat, reach those arms up, Anjani Asana. Breathe out, inhale, and release your hands to the floor, exhale. Take your right leg towards the sky, breathing in. And release your foot down, exhale. Now look forward, soften your elbows to the floor and find your way into your dolphin. Five breaths. Resist the gravity, keep pushing the floor away. Very good. Remember your knees can stay slightly bent if it is too much on your hamstrings. And after your last breath, I want us to slowly release the knees to the floor and find our child's pose. So relax the forehead down. We have completed our mandala. So just really thank your body for going through all that. And in your child's pose, see if you can slow down your heart rate. We take one more breath. Exhale. Very good. Slowly from here, rising up. Coming into all four, so hands and knees on the floor. And from here, we'll send our right knee just behind the right wrist. Extend through the back leg and see if we can settle into our half pigeon. So if your right thigh is pretty high up, feel free to prop a block or a cushion or a blanket for you to come into a really comfortable stretch and maybe just drop your elbows, your forearms to the ground. Settle down here. And just taking a couple of breaths. Nice and slow.
And breathe in and out. Great. Slowly from here, we want to uh, come back up. Wiggle the back knee in. So you create space for yourself to find your all fours again. From here, slowly left knee approaches just behind your left wrist. Extend your right leg behind you. Go as far as it feels okay. Make sure that your front knee also feels good. Sometimes this deep flexion doesn't suit everybody. So it's important to stay mindful. And then from here, of course, you can drop your hands, your elbows all the way in front as we settle into that deeper half pigeon. Have your eyes closed. So you stay with this experience. So your mind doesn't begin to rush from one thing to the next. Very nice. Last deep inhalation. And breathe out. From here, walk those hands back in. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee, and just wiggle your knee a little bit closer in as we send the back knee onto the floor. From here, just to kind of counter it all, drop your belly, look up, find your cow, and round as you exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Exhale. Well done, sinking towards our heels. Shift onto one side and come into a seated position. Relax your arms, your hands on your legs and your knees. Close your eyes. And just notice the effects of the practice. Notice how your physical body is feeling. Notice where your thoughts are. And come back to the breath. Come back to your life force. This constant energy that flows through you. So when you next inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Bring your palms to touch. Exhale and draw your hands next to your heart. Thank yourself for showing up again and again. Thank you so much for being here, for sharing, for practicing. Namaste.